The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Hello and welcome. It's season three, episode five. We've got a coach, we're in a car. It's time, I hope to get some coffee. And the reason yes. I say I hope is because Anco- Antonio Goss is seated next to me. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. Goss, last time you violated the sanctity of coaches and cars getting coffee because you got a hot chocolate. I'm so sorry about that. Oh. I'm so sorry. Unbelievable. I will have something special today, though. You, you're going to get something We're special? We're going to get something very special today. Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. And I'm tempted just to order for you myself. No. I would like to do the ordering, please. Okay. Okay. Just okay. something You've special. Got, if, it is, it, if it doesn't have caffeine in it, <laughs> I'm going to be so upset with you. Well, I need to sleep at night time, right? I you mean, can't have too much caffeine. Sure you can. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot. You have the little ones. I oh, don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're good. So you're going to sleep. <laughs> it's time to sleep. Uh, it was, uh, let's see, last night there were the tiny footsteps at... 2.15. Oh, okay. Dad, I need, I need a snuggle. Oh. oh. Come on. Let's get you back to bed. There you go. Uh, the uh, spe- let's, it was special teams today. Uh, and if we talk special teams, I think the thing that we have to talk about is one of the most dynamic punt returners in America, and that is Major Williams. I have to agree. He, uh, have to agree. he was a... A late blooming surprise on the scene a year and a half ago, let's say, toward the end of his first season at Carson Newman uh, when he was a, a sophomore. Uh, but he has been a, a weapon ever since. What's he done to cement himself? It, arguably, for some of the All America listings that he's been on, it's because of his return game abilities, not because of his uh, play at safety, which is. Just as impressive. Correct. I mean, as of now, you can tell him he's out there catching the ball, filling the balls, trying to improve on his skill set doing that. Also, you know, returning, um, <clears throat> just working on his what he needs to work on, you know, his trait, his abilities. And when he can bring that to the game, it definitely helps us right there. You have had, really since you've been here, there's been some element of special teams that has been amongst the best in the country, whether it's been kick returns, punt returns, kickoff return defense, punt return defense. Uh, If I had to put it on you right now, which unit has the best uh, possibility to go do something like that this year? I'm going to have to say all of them. And I'm, I'm just that is I'm, such a cop out answer. But, and the reason I'm saying yeah. that, we have guys, we have the core group. They believe in themselves. And the core group d- believes if I can make my block, we're going to have a return man back there that can take it to the house. And all they have to do is just stay on their block for that second or two. That's the belief amongst our team. So and, all, and the core right there. So all four. All, all four. four. Pick your favorite kid. Which one? My favorite kid? Yeah. You, it's like picking your favorite child, right? Well, if I pick that, it's, I'm not even going to talk about my daughters. I'm going to talk about my grandbaby, <laughs> right? That's my favorite kid. But <laughs> you know, I got two daughters, but my favorite kid is my grandbaby. You my favorite kid, right? Oh, oh man. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, we talking about football? Yeah, I was oh, comparing. Yeah. football. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love kids. I love our kids. I love our kids. And uh, when they come to practice, they're ready to go. They're ready to go. And they know special team is important because our head coach, he, he stressed that, and they believe in him, and everybody's trying to be on that same page. The uh, You kind of touched on it with your answer earlier. You feel like somebody has a chance to take it to the house. Obviously, that's major on punt returns. Yes. Kick returns. Uh, Jaden Sullins has yes. oodles of yardage throughout yes. his career. Yes, sir. Uh, who else on kick returns might you expect something of this we year? Got, uh, we got Meeks back there this year. We got uh, Carroll back there this year. You got Newsom back there this year. You know, we have a plethora of uh, kids that we can put back there because they have that skill, have shows, they have shown that ability. So we're just using, you know, <clears throat> we'll have like 
six to seven guys that we could put back there any time. Sorry, I saw we we're pull, we're pulling up to sixty beans right now, and somebody was going through the drive-through, the opposite direction, <laughs> and it just took me out. It caught me off guard. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. Oh. Uh, what what am I about to to pull up oh, in? All man. right, we're here. If I don't like your order, I'm canceling it. And I'm Please do. My, and I'm Please doing do. My own we will leave it to the public. I'm doing. Ah, we are back. What do you want? The Gauss Special. Oh my God. Gauss Special. You? Okay. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I'm going to take it too. <laughs> you called ahead? The Gauss. Called ahead? I'm a regular. <laughs> I just said the go look, it's ready. The go special. They keep one on hand at all times. I'll tell I want one too. Uh, what is it? Oh, come on. Go ahead. Let, let, yes, please. Make him another one. After this one, we can take it off the chart, okay? Go special, baby. You rascal. <laughs> you absolute <laughs> rascal! <laughs> God special. Oh. oh! Excuse me, sweetheart. Can you tell him what it is so he can hear it for the first time? White mocha and two pumps of brown sugar. Oh, that is actually pretty good, Goss. Mm. White mocha with two pumps yeah. of brown sugar. The Goss special. Oh, that's okay. good. You know what I that really. Here's what I appreciate about this more than anything else. What's that, buddy? Yours is the first drink this season. That's interesting. Everybody else? <laughs> oh, black coffee. Iced. Hey, you, you like what you like, right? Yeah. You like what you like. But I'm you, you line up four of those right in a row. It's boring. Yeah, I understand. I it's understand. boring. Same thing. Oh, black coffee. That's why special no, teams got to like, take the field. Gosh. You've been with offense. You've been with defense. Oh. Now special teams. Though. Yeah. There you go. Finally. <laughs> 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 they always have one waiting for me. <laughs> you got it, you got it. NIL deals over here that we don't know about. Thank uh, you so right. much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know what's great about this? I get to pass judgment. And it's I know good. but I know it's good. it's good. One, brown sugar. Yes. Is an underrated sweetener. Yes, it for is. Coffee. Oh, underrated sweetener. Take a sip or two. Oh, you gonna enjoy on. this? Is it hitting the spot? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice right there. It's that's a smoothness. Mm-hmm. Also, an underrated sweetener of coffee. Honey. Mmm. Look at that one. You ever do honey in your coffee? No, sir. You should start. Might have to try that. It 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 provide, especially now you don't you don't have camp throat right now. You're 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 good. You're yes. calm. You're cool. Collected. Okay. Uh, you're uh, appropriately projecting from your diaphragm so that you don't strain your vocal cords, and I appreciate that. Uh, oh, okay. But if you did have camp throat, you put a little honey in that coffee, and it'll help soothe. There you go. Okay. Cords. That's one of them old school remedies right there. Yeah, right? that's there right. There you go. Okay. That's All right. right. Uh, let's talk people booting the ball. Ooh, okay. uh, Andrew Seibert was probably thrust into some roles last year that he wasn't expecting to be put in because of uh, injuries and, and whatnot. Uh, it, but he performed admirably 49 yard field goal uh obviously punting he was quite serviceable yes uh, is the the goal to to let him do it all or do you try to to mix it up uh with place kicking field goal kicking well just punting? starting out with punting right there we have another guy who's on our team also is doing a great job uh Campbell. Yeah. Campbell Crazy does a great job. He transferred in. And so right now there's a good little battle going on. They both having good days and bad days, but you know, they going to tick for tack in that area. <clears throat> we also, like you said, have some other guys that are kicking off. But you know, if one guy can do it, that's great. But if you have a multiple of guys that can get it done, that's better wear and tear for that 
guy during the course of the season to try to keep him more fresh. So, you know, if we have a couple guys who can do that, I think it's always best if you can, you know, sort of space that out because the season is long. You know, the guys that I think of on field goals, Grant Haney kicked last year, yes. got dinged up. Uh, you know, Bennett Smith was turned to a couple times last year, yes. got dinged up. Uh, how do those guys factor into the mix on on field goals, kickoffs, this so year. on and so forth? They have a year in the program, a year in the weight room. You know, coming from your fresh year as a freshman coming right in, been thrust in that position there, it, it's a lot. But now since they have a year under the belt of the weight room of that off-season training, I think can help them, and it's very important. Um, any freshman in the mix that uh, excite you? Uh, between punters and kickers. Well, we have another one on our team, uh, the Lawson kid. Yeah. The Lawson kid out of Winston-Salem. Uh, he has a very strong leg. He's, he's a multiple sport guy in high school, and you always like to get those type of guys that can play multiple sports, but he, he's a good little athlete. has a strong leg. And here we are uh, bearing down on two weeks away from kickoff against Reinhardt. What, what is there to be done to get that ever-crucial third unit of the team ready for kickoff against an NAI team that has made the playoffs in eight straight years. Yes. I think the way we look at that and the way we're telling our kids right now, hey, that's a football team ready to come in here and we're going to have to be ready to go play them. You know, they know one thing, play football. Football is football wherever you go, Division One, Division Two, whatever division you're going at. We got to go out there and do what we have to do to win the game. That's run the ball, pass the game. We got to stop them. You know, we got to be three phases of the game, we need to go ahead and try to win. So it's going to be a very challenging game. We must be on our P's and Q's. Well, I'll tell you what's on P's and Q's. The Goss Special. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. The I'm Goss you Special. you the Goss Special there. White, white chocolate mocha. White chocolate mocha. Two pumps. Two pumps of brown, brown sugar. sugar. There you go. <laughs> oh, out of control. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you. 58, 58. Ooh, don't look a day over 45. He's Antonio Goss. I'm the voice of the Thank Eagles, you. Adam Cavalier. Coach Carr, we got, right. we got the Goss special. <laughs> Eagles Sports Network. Thanks for watching. Thank you.